Georgia will get back to normal. We will protect the most vulnerable and we will beat this virus. COVID-19 protection on the way for Georgia teachers. Governor Kemp announcing just in the last few hours that educators will be eligible for the vaccine in less than two weeks. Tonight, Georgia is nearing the 2 million mark for vaccines administered, but fewer than 700,000 people in our state are fully vaccinated. CBS 46's Adam Murphy was there when the governor made his announcement earlier this evening. Adam, fill us in. Well, good evening, Rick. I can tell you the governor said that in 11 days on March 8th, more people will be added to the state's vaccination list. Take a look at the display back here that the governor brought out today. On that display, it identifies that K through 12 educators and staff for both public and private schools will be eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine beginning March 8th. As more schools in Metro Atlanta ditch distance learning and get students back into classrooms, the fear of contracting the virus grows amongst teachers. But Governor Brian Kemp now intends to add educators to the vaccine priority list. I, I'm not quite there all the way yet. I'm working toward it. Art teacher Sean Lovings is still on the fence about getting the shot, and he's not alone. In a survey conducted by the state, Less than half of Georgia's school staff say they will be getting the vaccine once it's available. It, it happened kind of fast and they, they, they came out with it. That's great, but, you know, it, it's just still a little um, hard to take right now. Lovings works for the Clayton County School System, and right now the district is still in full-time virtual learning. He says even when teachers start getting vaccinated, he hopes the district will give it some time before going back to normal. It's going, to, it's going to be hard regardless with the vaccine and all. I still think it's going to be a little difficult to get them started again. People were mostly nice. Some of them were very angry. There are also growing concerns about adding more people to the vaccine list when many people above the age of 65 have not been fully vaccinated. And the wait time outside this vaccination site in Doraville was over three hours on Thursday. That I feel like we've gotten enough of the population. This is a decision that was made in conjunction with Dr. Toomey's advice and her team as well as ours based on the projections that we're seeing with the amount of vaccine. Now the governor also added additional groups to the vaccination list on March 8th. Those include pre-K and decal educators and staff, adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and their caregivers, plus parents with children who have complex medical conditions. But again, a big concern here for a lot of people considering the governor has mentioned that just 57% of those over the age of 65 have received at least one vaccine at this point in time. If you want to register, do it right there, myvaccinegeorgia.com. Get your name on the list as fast as you can. We are live tonight inside the state capitol. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Adam, thank you.